Guys, I don't even know what to say. Two challenges in a row that did not happen. The last video did not get 60,000 likes, so I'm not gonna be covering myself in ketchup and mustard. Honestly, I'm very relieved that it did not happen because that would have been a very disgusting and gross episode, and I'm sure you guys would have been disgusted as well. So in a way, I'm very relieved that did not happen. So instead of me coming up with these stupid challenges, I'm gonna let you guys decide what you want to see uh, for the next few episodes. So go ahead and leave me your comments down below on what challenges I should do. Make them, reason make them reasonable, guys, and I will pick a few of them, and I'll make a straw poll on my Twitter account, and you guys can vote on that. The reason why I still do these challenges is to change some things up, guys. Uh, instead of giving you the usual setup wars every single Monday, I like to spice some things up. Maybe give a retarded intro or a cringe-worthy challenge. I don't know, just to change things up just for my sake. And hopefully you guys enjoy that as well. If you don't and just are here for the setups, then you guys can always skip the video straight to the setup portion. But anyways, let me know what, what challenges you guys want to see by dropping your comments down below. I'll pick up a few of them. Put them on my Twitter account and run a straw poll for you guys to vote. But anyways, without wasting any more time, what episode are we on? Ep uh, welcome to Setup Wars episode 68. Let's just start the show. If you guys are shopping around for your next game, make sure to check out G2A.com because they have the cheapest CD keys available for pretty much any game. I'll drop a link to them down below if you want to check it out. As always, you guys can find the gear for everyone's setup link below, but here are your five contestants for this week. We have Alex, Ali, Jay, Jai, Lucas, and Sam. Congratulations for making it on the show. Starting off the show, we have Alex and a Razer themed setup featuring two 24 inch Dell monitors, a Black Widow Ultimate keyboard, Death Adder mouse, and an extended mouse pad from Perix. Keeping the Razer theme going, we have the Razer H440 tower that's housing the 4790K and a Gigabyte GTX 980 Ti. Very good job with the custom sleeving and painted fan rings. Alex does have a mic hooked up to a boom arm, and I love the fact that he attached that to the monitor arm instead of the desk. Below the monitors, we have a set of Logitech Z150 speakers and his PS4, which is looking very bland. I would personally pick up some skins to spice it up a bit. It doesn't really matter where you get them from, but if you do add some to your PS4, it will make your setup look bows. Cable management is pretty good. I do appreciate the fact that you drilled a hole in your desk throughout the keyboard and mouse wires through. It also looks like we have a Signum rack holding up the rest of the cables, and a headphone hanger that's holding up the Astro A40s, and a Sound Blaster Tactic 3D Rage headset. Definitely a huge fan of the color scheme, and I'm glad that you even have a matching chair. I would give this a solid 8 out of 10. Oh yeah, I'm actually doing this new rating system, I don't know if I should continue doing it or not, but basically a 10 out of 10 is seal of approval worthy, and a 1 out of 10 setup basically belongs in the worst setup edition. <laughs> of setup wars but i'll drop a shop holding down below if you guys want to maybe vote on this and let me know if i should continue the rating system or not all these next up with an ultra wide setup so we have the acer x34 predator logitech g710 plus keyboard and the razer naga mouse on top of an ikea table behind the monitors we have the pair of edifier speakers and to the right of all this is the massive pc that's running on a 6700k and two gtx 1080 for the wins and sli I don't know how I feel about the blue LEDs from the fans or the tubing, but it's definitely a beast of a PC. Cable management can definitely be improved, but I will give you a point for at least attempting to cover up the wires with those omni mount sleeves. I mean, at least you have a hanger for your headset though. 6 out of 10 for the setup. You can definitely improve your cable management by a lot, and you can watch my video for tips. Thank you, Ollie, for entering. At number 3, we have Jay and his jaw dropping setup. Get it? Because Jai and jaw, they're very. So we have three 27 inch Dell monitors on the bottom, all of which are 1440p resolution and on the top shelf we have a single 21 inch Samsung 1080p monitor. Below that we have the Razer Orb Weaver Chroma Keyboard, Corsair Strafe RGB Keyboard and a Logitech G602 mouse. I do like the fact that you position the Audio Engine A5 Plus speakers at an angle so that the sound is directed towards you. I also like the position of the PC, you have a very clear view of everything inside it, a 6700K and a GTX 980 Ti with white custom sleeving and the S340 case. Excellent choices in the parts. To the left we have a banana holder holding a pair of Sennheiser Momentum wireless headphones, 
and I'm already gonna guess and say that the cable management is flawless and yep everything is neatly tucked away and there are several holes drilled inside the desk that have cables going through job well done this setup is definitely worthy of the seal of approval and I want to give it to you Jay I really do man I don't think there's been a winner since episode 49 so it's been a long time but the reason why I can't give you the seal is because the top monitor is not centered with the bottom. Also there are a few wires visible near the back. Now I know everyone's gonna hate me but I'm sorry guys, one of the criteria of winning the seal is symmetry. However I will give this setup a solid 9 out of 10. Awesome job Jay, thank you for entering. At number 3 we have Lucas Films with a very clean black and red setup. Did I say very clean? I meant immaculate. I don't even know where to start. So we have two 27 inch Dell gaming monitors hooked up to the Wally mount and below that we have a Snowball mic, a Black Widow chroma keyboard and a SteelSeries rival mouse on top of the Vipam's mouse pad. I love that you kept the setup somewhat symmetrical. Even though the wall shelf up there isn't directly centered with both of the monitors, you did redeem yourself by adding one CSGO knife on each side of the desk. And by the way, bravo for keeping the color scheme so consistent throughout this entire setup. On the right side, we have his console collection. An Xbox One, PS4, and two controller stands holding up the remotes, all of which are skinned by D-Brands. Very impressive. And finally, we have the MOV headphone anchor that's holding up his headset. In the notes, it states that it's an Astro headset, but these look like Tritons to me. I'm not gonna even try and guess what rifle that is on top, but I do like the custom painted IKEA wall shelf that's holding that up. And finally in the corner we have his PC that's powering this entire set- oh, Wait a minute. Is that an Alienware? So inside this overpriced piece of metal we have a 5820K and two GTX 980 Ti's. I mean what's the point of putting all this power in here if you can't even show it off? Cable management on the other hand is perfect. All the wires are off of the ground and mounted against the roof of the desk. Personally I think the LEDs are a bit too much and instead would have gone with white ones and put them behind the desk instead of the front. And because of that reason and the misaligned shelf, I'm gonna give this setup an 8 out of 10. Thank you Lucas for entering. Last but not least we have Sam and his black and yellow productivity setup. We have the LG 34 inch ultra wide monitor sitting on top of the Renate wooden office desk and sandwiching the display we have a pair of KRK Rocket 5 audio monitors. The setup is being powered by the 6 core Mac Pro hence why we have the Apple wireless keyboard and mouse and this is actually something I haven't seen before. Sam has drilled a hole in the desk to route the microphone and audio interface wires through. Now that's very clever. Under the desk we can see that he is using a Signum to store all of the cables along with the anchor that's holding up the Bose Soundlink wireless headphones. Oh and I almost forgot about the massive 50 inch Vizio 4K TV that's being used as a second monitor. A very clean and organized setup no doubt, worthy of a solid score of 8 out of 10. Thank you Sam for entering. So ladies and gentlemen that will do for this episode of Setup Wars. As always please drop your comments down below and vote. I don't know why people don't vote anymore but please vote on what you think or who you think has the best desk setup and as always I'll announce the winners on Sunday on my tweet and Instagram accounts. Thank you guys so much for watching. <coughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.